Hello everybody and welcome to my space shuttle. As you can see the design is pretty much standard as we know it from the NASA edition. Um, it's some kind of glider atop of a big ass fuel tank with some solid rocket boosters. This spaceship is capable of carrying about 18 tons into lower Earth orbit. As you can see, I've used a Rockamax fuel tank weighing exactly 18 tons and I've locked the fuel so the docking port won't drain it during ascent. Getting this thing into orbit is a little bit of a chore because you always have to manipulate the engines. As you can see, I'm really trying to keep this thing flying straight up. In the first phase of the launch I do this by adjusting the straight booster. Uh, one of the mainsails, I'm using two mainsails here. One straight on the orbiter and the other one angled. First I have to throttle it down when launching and gradually as fuel decreases and the center of mass moves around I have to increase the thrust on that specific engine and then I have to move to the angled mainsail and do the same over there as well. As you can see I'm using uh, some mods uh, Astronomer's Visual Pack using the environmental effects with the clouds uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux to uh, show me where my apoapsis will be and of course my trusty old friend MacJab who is dormant at the moment and we're close to booster separation 3, 2, 1, go! I also included parachutes even though they won't recover in stock cool space program um, speaking of stock the entire craft is made using stock parts except McJab and uh, Kerbal Engineer of course but the thing would fly without them everything I do here is manually uh, because MacJab cannot handle all that manual input on the main sails at least as far as I know if you know anything else about that or if you uh, would like to correct me please do that in the comment uh, in the comments but please stay polite now really picking up speed and getting into the upper atmosphere always <laughs> having to move around thing is uh, this uh, iteration of my space shuttle which looks a little bit to be honest like a cross between the NASA Space Shuttle Orbiter and a fat Antonov cargo plane. Uh, this edition had some problems with uh, the fuel lines, which we can see later on where one of the tanks would not drain for the life of it. I fig finally figured out why that happened and in the craft that I will post to the Kerbal Space Program forums that problem will be fixed just watching the big external tank waiting for it to drain I really want to get the separation right and separate it exactly at the time where it goes to zero without wasting any fuel uh, still inside of the orbiter uh, we're almost there Oh, this is hard to steer. This is very difficult to control for some reason. And almost there, almost ready for tank separation. There we go. Almost just a little bit. Together with the tank, I will also separate the angled mainsail, which is no of no use anymore and would only be dead weight. Okay, this is one stubborn tank, or rather, I'm high up, so it falls.
bounce back down very slowly, which to be honest is not s such a bad thing. Getting ready to make a maneuver node and circularize. As you can see I'm using the new Mark II, well not so new because Spaceman Plus has been around for quite a while before version 2.25. Uh, there we go. Uh, perhaps it's looking good. Your standard fare maneuvering inside of the map view. Moving around. 
down slowly to catch the atmosphere. I mentioned earlier on that I tried to model this after the space, the original space shuttle, with a few differences. The original STS orbiter had three engines in the back, as you may know, and did not contain any liquid fuel for those engines to to use after. Orbiter and my space shuttle are, for instance, uh, the aerodynamics. I'm using canards in the front of the ship, and I think my wing surface area is bigger. Also, the original shuttle was capable of carrying loads up to 25 tons and not just a meager 18. So, and I, as I was expecting, we are not even close to the Kerbal Spaceport, uh, Kerbal Space Center, of course. Really getting close to the mountains here. I don't like that. I don't want to crash this on the mountain face. Coming through the clouds. Oh, I really like those cloud mods. Unfortunately, since point ninety the beta version I can no longer use this mod because my RAM just rises into unbelievable heights and the game crashes after startup. Okay. Now where is some kind of flat area where I can put this down? It seems like we ditched uh, like we dodged the mountains there is some grassland up ahead. Looking good so far, trying to keep this vehicle stable. And I'm using MacJab here to get my true altitude so I can time the landing better. I prefer MacJab in this regard to Kerbal Engineer because the window is just a little bit more compact. Seeing trees, I'm seeing trees. I don't want to crash into a tree, even though that won't matter because they're physics less. I'm seeing a shadow and RCS. I'm using RCS to uh, slow my ascent. I'm pressing K as hard as I can, which of course should lift the space shuttle a little bit up to make the landing. Bit smoother and here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, 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 yes. Slow down, slow down, slow down. RCS backwards, boosting and dab on the brakes. I don't want to ruin this plane after landing. And here we go. I would call that a success. Beautiful, let's take a screenshot for the gallery and at the bottom we have a little ladder for EVAs on planets if for some day I manage to get this thing to a different planet or moon what well, I'm going for an EVA from top I'll show you and just in a second just why I do it this way and not by the ladder Ouch. Well, he has a helmet, of course. Oh, let's take a picture for the family album. Here we go. A proud landing by Bill Kerman, a brave pilot of the Kerman Space Program. And we go back in through the bottom hatch. Now, I'm going to show you something rather funny. If I want to get Bill back out of this hatch, he sa it, uh, uh, the game says there is no enough room, uh, either or the hatch is blocked, which kind of is absurd if you remember that I just got back 
through that hatch into the plane. And there it is, my space shuttle. Successful test and landing. Thanks for watching everybody.